All right, so this is for the achievement banking history. And what you got to do is find all the hidden treasure from the making history quest. And there's going to be 11 spots. So you need to get the enchanted key. And, you know, if you've already done the quest, most likely you already know what to do. And you already have the key. But if you lost the key, you know, hopefully Jorau will have another to be able to return it. So I just destroyed it and Jorau, he's at the outpost. So, you know, if you just teleport to our dome and just run all the way west to the outpost, you can talk to him and then he'll automatically give it to you back. All right, so regarding the first spot we're going to go visit, it's going to be in Relica. So, you know, you just teleport to, you know, the Fremenic Province, Lowstone, run all the way south. And if you remember the Sinclair Mansion, it'll be on the other side over here and west of the golden apple tree. So let's see if we found the right location. Uh, so we got a feel for it. It's burning hot. So when it's steaming hot like that, you'll just bring a spade and there we go. Yeah, make sure you also have a spade for this achievement also. All right, so for the outpost one is right here. So from the outpost, just head a little northwest-ish and then it's gonna be near the hunter training. And then th these three little benches right here. So if I feel it again. And, you know, we just dig. And now we got the treasure. All right, there we go. All right, so the, for the Ardone one, it's going to be right next to the sewer valve. So, you know, south of the Ardone Zoom. East of the clock tire. And, I, and it says it's steaming, so... Let's dig. There we go. Got the treasure. All right, so the, for the Mud Skipper Point, uh, this is for where I had found it. So, you know, go from Port Serum. And, you know, just pretty much south, directly from here. And it's going to be right here between these two willows. So, it's steaming, and then we'll dig. And there we Now we got that treasure. Alright, so this is for the body altar. It's, you know, it's it's in between Edgeville Monastery and the Dwarven Mine. So, where I found it, it was just a little southwest-ish on the trail. So, you see how the trail is here? So, I found it, and its key is steaming. So, dig with the spade, and we found the treasure. Alright, let's go get the next one. Alright, so the next one's at the Shattered Worlds, and it's going to be right at the entrance. So, you know, from Lumbridge Lodestone, head all the way southwest, past the swamp, and Shattered Worlds. So, you see how I'm on this little circle, and I just notice a face there. So, when you feel the key, it's steaming hot. So, dig, and now you got the treasure. Alright, so the next one, because it's out of order, it, it, when you go to certain spots, it is out of order. So... I found the one at Al Karid. It's, you know, Hets Oasis. And it's gonna be right out here next to the mini obelisk. So you see how you feel the key and it's burning hot. Dig with the spade. And now we got the Majordnir. Alright, so now we got this. Alright, there we go. Alright, so for the next one I had found is gonna be right here. You know, the clan camp. And it's going to be, you know, from Balador, Lodestone, you just head all the way south. You can either hop this little wall over here or just head straight through. And it's going to be right here. So you see how you got this little camp over or tent and then the notice board and the portal. And it says it's right here. See so yeah, how the key is steaming. You dig. And now you got this one. All right, there we go. All right, so for this one. It's going to be, you know, if you have the archaeology journal, you would just teleport to the guild, head a little bit southwest, and you see how the resting spot is right here. So it's going to be right here. That's where it says, and if you feel it, it's burning hot, you'll dig, and you'll get the next one. All right, there we go. And for the tree gnome stronghold, I had found the spot right here. So, you know, from the bank... It's just going to be a little bit more north and the tree for reference. And it's going to be right here. So it's going to be right next to this oak. 
And if you look at it, feel, and then dig with the spade. There we go. All right, so now we got that one. And for the Grand Exchange one, it's going to be right here. Right? So, you know, this little fenced off tree next to the Premier Vault and right next to the Banker. So, this key is steaming. All right, and there we go. Now we got the treasure. All right, so for the locations that I provided, it was for making history because there's two of them. All right, so for this next, next set of 11, it's going to be for meeting history. All right, so let's get it. All right, so for this one, it's going to be at the Gnome Ball Field. So, you know, you just teleport to Eagle's Peak. Go from the Lodestone, cr climb over this little style, and then right next to this crystal tree. So you see how it says some is burning hot or it's steaming. Dig, and there you go. All right, so for the next one, it's going to be at Shanty Pass. So go from the Alcarid Lodestone all the way south, and it's going to be near the entrance. So just for reference, it's near, next to the musician, and if you feel it, the steaming. And there we go. That's how you get the treasure here. Alright, so for the one in Brimhaven, you would go from the Karamja Lodestone. You'll head all the way west, like, you know, to the bank of the beach. Or like the, you know, you know what I'm saying. Over here. And, you know, from the player-owned home portal. All the way directly west from that. So, right here. Here's this little skeleton for reference. And we dig. And there we go. Alright, so for the Wilderness one, it's going to be right here. So you see the bonfire, or the fired up beacon, and then the chaos tunnels. And it's going to be right here, so we can dig here, and get the treasure. Alright, so for the Karamja one, and it says it's by Twive and I, so... You would just come to the Karamja Lodestone, and you'll head all the way south, and then a little bit west, and you'll come to the mining... And then, from right here is where I'm standing. So now we got the treasure. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, so for the one in Feldup Hills, it's going to be right here. And it's going to be right next to the, the, the guide, the hunter guide. Or where you get the hunting skill cape. So you see how it's right here. And we dig, and we got the treasure. Alright, so the next one is going to be right next to the agility pyramid. Well, not next to it, but it's near it. So, from the Agility Pyramid, just run a little bit south, and it's outside the doors of Softenim. So, you know, you just take this little exit or through the doors, and it's going to be right here. Like, so you got the cactus for reference, and just so you see, it's steaming. Dig. There we go. Alright, so the next one, it's going to be north of the Bandit Camp, and it's going to be right next to the, the Obelisk. So, you feel that it's burning, or it's steaming dig with it and there goes the treasure all right so the next one is gonna be right here so you know from the boneyard just head all the way east and it's gonna be near this river and for Damonheim that's the reference and you see the green dragons over here so we just dig there we go all right so for this one it's gonna be well you basically teleport to birth rope lodestone and you know, you would just start running through, like you'll start running through here. And once you reach this over here, you'll end up seeing these little spikes. So go inside and you'll see this cliff side that you can climb and it'll be right here. So once you're here, just go toward this middle and you'll feel it. And there we go. Now we got the treasure from here. And the last one from my understanding is in the scorpion pit. So, you know, if you got the Wilderness Sword 4, it's a lot easier. So, the Scorpion Pit is right here. And, you know, the Major Arena. So, all the way east. And let's dig. And there we go. Now we got the achievement. 